Last week, Antoine Griezmann said there was a 6 out of 10 chance he was going to be moving to Manchester United in the summer. And now, there is another major update on his potential move to Old Trafford. Spanish journalist Antonio Ruiz has said on Deportes Cope, a Spanish radio station, that Antoine Griezmann has handed in a transfer request. Now, that would obviously be a major step in his move to Old Trafford for a number of reasons. Number one, it shows a keenness for Griezmann to push the move through as quickly as possible. The initial report said that he wanted to get this move done before halfway through June. And we're now at the start of June, so that's in the next two weeks. And number two, it gives a big advantage to Manchester United because we now know that Griezmann wants to leave Atletico Madrid. It's a big step in that direction. It means that all Manchester United have to do is pay the release clause. And the third and I suppose most important point about this is the fact that this story has come out before Atletico Madrid's transfer ban is either upheld or rescinded. Now that makes a massive difference because it shows a willingness for Griezmann to leave Atletico Madrid even if they do undergo a transfer ban. But as I said, this transfer ban does make things a little bit complicated. The current expectation in Spain is that Atletico Madrid's transfer ban will be upheld. Now, Real Madrid have suffered a transfer ban. They got theirs rescinded and Barcelona have one as well. Uh, this is all in relation to signing under 18s players. I'm not sure the legality of it, but that is where the issue lies. And the initial reports coming out from Spain is that Atletico Madrid's is a hell of a lot more severe than Real Madrid or Barcelona's was. So it looks like their ban will be upheld. Now, does this mean that they, can, they can't sell players, they can't buy players? It doesn't mean that they can't sell players. And it also doesn't mean that they can't buy players. What it means is that they cannot register players. Look at Barcelona. They signed Arda Turan while they were under a transfer ban. The thing they couldn't do was play him. Now, any transfer ban here could complicate the deal because release clauses aren't as simple in Spain as they are in England. Look at what happened with Ander Herrera. We had those guys with the briefcases. Remember those dudes? It was all very, very complicated. It's because clubs aren't legally obliged to accept a release clause in Spain, as far as I know. Um, it's all really quite complicated. So while Manchester United could offer that 100 million to Atletico Madrid, which is Griezmann's release clause, they could still dig their heels and take it through the courts. I think it might be to do with something of the player paying the release clause himself and then tax comes into it. It's a whole muddy legal mess. And Man United really want to avoid that. But if Atletico Madrid do have a transfer ban, they may well dig their heels in and make this a very messy and muddy transfer, a bit like it was with Ander Herrera, and it was certainly a summer transfer saga with Paul Pogba. Everybody wanted to avoid that with Griezmann, but this transfer ban could make it a little bit more complicated than we all want it to be. Now, is Antonio Ruiz telling the truth, or is it just more paper guff coming out of Spain? As far as I'm concerned, I listen to what Andy Mitten has to say. Andy Mitten, the editor of United We Stand, spent a lot of his career out in Spain, knows what he is talking about. He is vouching for Antonio Ruiz. So as far as I'm concerned, that goes to show that the guy has got credibility. Now there are reports coming out now from Sky Sports saying that Atletico Madrid have denied that Griezmann has handed in a transfer request. But of course they're going to deny that he's handed in a transfer request. They're not going to come out and say, yeah, he wants to leave us. Someone wants to pay his release clause, you can have him. It's the club's line to make sure that they stay as stern and as firm as possible on this Griezmann deal. And that means denying absolutely everything, even if they know it is truth. So what next for Griezmann? Well, he is in action quite a few times with France, three times in June. On the 2nd, he's playing Paraguay. I think on the 9th of June, he's playing Sweden in a World Cup qualifier. And then on the 13th of June, he is playing England in another friendly with France. So the idea was that Griezmann wanted this deal wrapped up early. But he's away with France for three international games. Atletico Madrid are currently under a transfer ban and they're finding out soon whether or not it's going to be upheld. So there's a lot of complicated things that are happening at the same time that make a quick deal very, very difficult to have. So as I said, we all want this to be a quick one, to be a simple one. But I really don't think it will be. That being said, I suppose the steps are quite simple now. If Griezmann has handed in a transfer request, he wants to move. Manchester United then just have to pay the release clause and get this baby rolling. It may be a messy, complicated process, but the steps to take us there are quite simple. Pay the release clause, make him the world's most expensive player and sign him and bring him alongside Paul Pogba 
in this new look Manchester United team under Jose Mourinho, heading into an exciting second season back in the Champions League where players like Griezmann and Pogba and De Gea belong. And maybe next season we can be challenging for the title. But as far as Griezmann's transfer is concerned, the latest suggests that he has handed in a transfer request, which would be major, major news, especially before that transfer ban is either upheld or rescinded. Now, do you think it will happen quickly or is this going to be another transfer saga with Manchester United? Let me know in the comments below like you always do. Please drop a like on the video like you did yesterday. So there was over 300 likes. That is amazing. Thank you all for those. Uh, we'll be back with any more of the latest news and hopefully, as always, hopefully this offered you a little bit of insight into what is going on with Griezmann.